Today's tale unfolds in England, centering on a loving family, Dad Lee, Mom Francesca, and their daughter Bella. United in deep affection, they reveled in their familial bliss, particularly upon learning of Francesca's pregnancy. When Bella entered the world, Lee and Francesca felt certain they were the happiest family imaginable. Francesca, especially, counted her blessings, grateful for her devoted husband and their two remarkable children. With their eldest son, four-year-old Bobby, displaying signs of intelligence and promise, and little Bella poised to blossom into a beauty, Francesca felt her heart rimming with joy. Yet, as life often unfolds, light can be followed by shadow. At 14 months old, Bella began experiencing concerning symptoms. She felt unwell, suffered from a persistent cough, and her once lush locks began to thin and fall out. Francesca discovered clumps of Bella's hair near her crib each morning, prompting them to seek medical assistance. Initially, the doctor suspected asthma, prescribing an inhaler for the young girl. As time passed, life appeared to regain its semblance of normalcy. During the summer, the family embarked on a vacation to Spain, relishing in the sun, sea, and sand. However, their idyllic holiday took a devastating turn when Bella experienced a seizure, falling critically ill. The once happy family hastily returned to the UK, desperate for answers and medical intervention. Their worst fears were confirmed when doctors delivered a grim diagnosis. Bella was afflicted with mitochondrial disease, a cruel condition that ravages the body cells, leading inexorably to organ failure. With no known cure for this merciless illness, the doctors delivered a crushing prognosis. By this point, Bella lay in a precarious state, reliant on artificial lung ventilation for survival. The rarity of the disease, afflicting only one in 60,000 newborns, compounded the family's anguish. Recalling a previous case with a similar diagnosis, doctors proposed administering biotin, also known as vitamin H, in a last-ditch effort to prolong Bella's life. Despite the medical team's valiant efforts, Bella's condition deteriorated to a critical juncture, her life hanging in the balance. Ultimately, the agonizing decision was made to remove her from the ventilator. With heavy hearts, her parents, Lee and Francesca, along with her five-year-old brother Bobby, gathered by Bella's bedside for a poignant farewell. July 21st was designated as Bella's final day, prompting the family to capture one last precious moment together. In a poignant scene, Francesca and her husband tenderly kissed their daughter goodbye, struggling to summon the strength to bid her farewell. Yet, amidst the heartache, a glimmer of hope lingered a testament to the enduring love that transcends even the darkest of days. Thirty minutes later, a miraculous turn of events unfolded. Within the confines of Bella's hospital room, the silence was shattered by the sound of her cries, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Recounting this pivotal moment in an interview, Francesca described the profound connection she shared with her daughter. As I kissed her forehead, I felt her grasp loosen, but then suddenly, she squeezed my finger and began to stir on her own. Startled by the commotion, doctors and parents alike rushed to Bella's side, where they were met with an astonishing sight. Bella, once teetering on the brink of death, now moved and cried, her vital signs stabilizing before their eyes. The doctor's pronouncement brought a wave of relief. Oxygen levels are almost normal. She's going to be okay. In the ensuing moments, a fierce battle ensued as medical professionals fought valiantly to safeguard Bella's fragile life. Amidst the chaos, Bella's father remained steadfast by her side, his hand clasped firmly in hers. Reflecting on the harrowing ordeal, he recounted, she didn't want to let me go. She would never let me go. Now years removed from that tumultuous chapter, Bella's parents recall it as a distant nightmare. Their daughter, once on the precipice of death, now thrives, embodying resilience and vitality. Though she must adhere to a regimen of daily medication to maintain her health, it pales in comparison to the joy of witnessing Bella embrace life with gusto. For the family, Bella's miraculous recovery signifies a second chance, a reprieve from the darkness that once enveloped them. As Francesca poignantly reflects, when my daughter calls me mom, 
my heart sings and dances. Indeed, Bella's journey serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the indomitable human spirit, a reminder to never relinquish hope, but to forge ahead with unwavering determination.